In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure and change the tracking interval setting for both the Caravan Angel and the AT1 Asset Tracker tracking device. By default, when you receive the tracker, the device will upload its location to the iTrack Life platform once every 24 hours when stationary or parked, and once every 15 minutes once movement is detected. Both these settings can be changed by following these simple steps. So the first thing you need to do is select the action button for the object in the object panel, which is the three vertical dots here. And then we need to click send command. And on the GPRS tab at the top here, we can click the mouse in the command box. And first of all, we're going to change the, the setting for the parked tracking interval. So first of all, we write the words set param followed by a space and then the number 185 followed by a colon. And then the next number we put in here is the number of seconds that we want the tracking interval to be. So if we want it to be every 24 hours, 24 hours in seconds is 86,400 seconds. So once we're happy with the interval time in seconds, we can click send and that will send the command to the tracking device. You'll see that the status is pending at the moment. Now it can take up to 24 hours for the change to take effect depending on the previous tracking interval of the device. Next time the tracker wakes up for its scheduled location update, that's when the change will take place and the setting will take effect. To change the tracking interval um, when the tracker is moving, it's very similar to the command that we've just inputted. The only difference is instead of 185, we put 186. So in the command box, again, we type set param, followed by a space, and then the number 186, followed by a colon, and then the number of seconds we want the tracking interval to be when moving. So if it wants to be, if you want it to be every 15 minutes, then 15 minutes in seconds is 900 seconds. Again, click send, and that command will be sent to the tracker, and the change will take effect next time the tracker wakes up. Moving forward, it's possible to create templates to make the process even easier. So to create a new template, all you have to do is click the templates tab at the top here, and then click the plus icon to add a new template in the bottom left corner here. That'll open a new window. And now we can give the, the command template a name. So we could call this parked tracking interval and enter the command that we've just entered in the previous step here so set param space 185 colon and then just um, by default we'll put 86,400 seconds in here which can be changed later which will which I'll show you soon and click save and that saves that template now we can add another template we could call this moving tracking interval and again enter the command here set param space 186 colon and we'll use 900 seconds again and click save so now we've got the two templates here and then we can close this window. So if we would send the command again in future, now we can click the action button, click send command. And now in the GPRS tab, from this drop, we're in the GPRS tab and from this drop down menu, instead of it being a custom command, we can select the template that we've, we've just created. So for example, the parked tracking interval will automatically populate in this box here and then we can change the, 
number of seconds here at the end to the desired rate. So that could be 24,000 for example. And then click send. And then again when it wakes up, the change will take effect. If you want to cancel any of the commands that you send the device, just click the dustbin on the right hand side here. And that voids the command. Okay, so that's how to change the tracking in full setting of your iTrack tracking device. Hope you found the video useful. Have a great day.